Glenn Couillette, quarterback, and I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh, my name's Hunter Belzo. Uh, I play receiver here. Um, I'm from Middletown, Connecticut, and um, just happy to be here. My name is Patrick Kenny. Uh, I play linebacker, and I'm from Los Angeles, California. All right, so my name is Rafael um, Hidalgo. I play wide receiver for the Drax. Uh, that's pretty much it. Sam Higgs, I am the punter in the team, and I'm from Australia. I started playing football. That was when I was about, I think, uh, first year of high school. I've been, I've been knowing about football before that, but I, I played quarterback strictly, just exclusively just quarterback when I was a sophomore, my second year of high school. It was because my dad, he was around it. He played whenever he was younger or whenever he was in college and high school, all that. And he played other sports, but he loved football and everything was all about sports when I was growing up. And I just remember seeing football on a TV when I was about 10 or 9 years old and I just fell in love with it. It's just something that just kind of grabbed me, you know. Um, I started playing at the age of 7 and the reason was because I had a lot of anger um, and my parents was like, okay, you need to play a sport that's going to help you with the anger and it was football. Yes, it was helping. Yes, it was. I was going through a lot as a child, so it helped a lot. It helped a lot. Oh, I mean, yeah, so basically at seven, my dad kind of got me into football. And, you know, since then, I fell in love with the game. So, just been a, it's been a long journey, you know, of the different states, now different country. I mean, it just, you know, for the love of the game. I started playing football when I was eight years old. So, I've been playing for a long time. And uh, my, the reason I started playing football was because me and my dad would just watch every week, every week, and I would beg can I play, can I play? And finally when I was eight, they're like, okay, you're old enough now. So that's when I started. Uh, it's a little, it's different. It's different from what I'm used to in America and also in Germany, because I played in Germany. So it's just a new environment, new everything, atmosphere, different language, different culture, different ways of, you know, just living a little bit. Everything's the same, like basic, but it's just different whenever I interact with people and hearing a different language. But overall, it's a great, I, I like it. It's been only been a week or so. Yeah, about a week. And I've been having fun. These guys that I'm rooming with are pretty fun, so. Uh, we've all been sharing. Uh, I could tell Glenn, he's pretty good at Clean. You know, the quarterbacks are always really organized and stuff, so he's kind of taking charge there, but I try my best not to be too dirty. It's my first time in uh, the country and Hunter's first time, and when we met in New York, it was like nerve-wracking, so at first it was like a little scary, but throughout the times after I met them and stuff, everything started going well. Uh, we're having a great time so far. We all have good, uh, we're meshing together really well. We all like to joke around a lot, so the, the apartment has a lot of laughs, which is good, so. Uh, it's a good time, it's a good group, so I'm excited to be here with them. I just graduated in Australia and I wanted a new life. Um, I wanted to know, learn a new language, a new culture, and I really love living in, in Catalonia. I'm very lucky in that my whole family is in Europe, basically. So, I got, Well, not in Europe, but out of Australia. So I have one brother in Berlin, another brother in Los Angeles, and my parents are coming to France in the next month, so I'll be here to watch some games as well. You know, just being here, I mean, even outside of football, I want to you know, explore what the lifestyle here in Spain, in Catalonia, see what it's like. But, you know, on the field, I just want to do everything I can for the team, whatever position they need me to do, to put us in the best, you know, spot to win games. Just to make sure money day. But my people can go say, I know one buy, I know one die, I know one buy me. I want enjoy, I want job life, I want buy motor. You know, prior to getting here, I, I knew this was, uh, you know, this was the top team in Spain. They had a tradition of winning championships. They rarely ever uh, lose. So this was a program I want to be a part of. Just seeing how, you know, just doing my own research on the team, I knew this was a team I want to play for because the winning tradition they have. So me coming here just helped them, you know, win another championship and continue to build a successful season. I don't mean any like disrespect by it, but it's actually better than I expected. Because, uh, you know, you hear things from other people, like you hear, you go to Germany and play, people think, you know, they have rankings for 
different countries. So whenever I see Spain, I was thinking like, okay, it might be a less level, like lesser level. But then actually seeing it, I see a lot of guys who played in, on this team, you know, they played in other, other countries and other leagues. So it's actually, you know, it's actually, a, it was eye opening for me to see how much football is kind of expanding, you know, I guess internationally. So it's really exciting to play against, you know, some of the better best teams in, in Europe. So um, I think as a squad, we've got a lot of young guys who are going to be really prepared because we lost a lot of players to the Dragons. And with these guys as well, the imports, um, we're going to be really prepared for, for Europe, I believe. I love being part of a team because I know even if I don't make the play on the ball, someone else will and then we can all celebrate together. So just being together with the guys is my favorite part. Excited. I'm ready to um, show them that we're capable to play anywhere. If it's Europe or Spanish, it doesn't, doesn't bother us. So I am excited and I'm glad that we're doing that because we get to play competition that um, will make us reach our full potential. I like to go to the gym. Um, I like to draw. Um, I like to design clothes. I love fashion. Um, yeah, I love shoes. Like, I really love shoes. Um, J Jordy said he's going to uh, take me to a spot so I can look at some shoes. I love shoes. Uh, right now, I don't got nothing crazy on. I got some regular shoes, but yeah. <laughs> right now, I got some regular shoes. But my closet, if I can, Coming here, it was very difficult because I didn't know like what pair of shoes to bring, and I have like a whole closet, and it was it was very very overwhelming. But yeah, it's pretty much my hobbies. I want to be able to like to make a clothing line one day, so I like to just like be creative with like speaking my voice through clothes. So I like to draw like okay, this looks dope with this. So when I'm done with football, that's something that I would like to do. Well, when I was younger, it was a lot of video games, but now I've started to read a lot of books. So right now, I like the old adventure books, so I'm reading the Lord of the Rings books right now. So I hope it doesn't make me sound like a nerd or anything. <laughs> and the Game of Thrones books. I don't know if you watched that show, but I watched the show and I was like, I have to read these books. So it took me a while, I'm a slow reader, but once I got through them, I was like, this is amazing. Um, I do boxing, I love boxing. Um, I'm a chiropractor as well, which is uh, related a lot to health. So I love to do study and, and do lots of exercise as well. Um, go to the gym, obviously, surf, all these different types of things, which Barcelona can offer surf as well in winter, which is good. A hobby in my spare time, I actually, I podcast, I have my own podcast. So that's what I do in my spare time that I have, along with obviously working out and training. So my podcast, you know, it's comedy. So it's kind of, I'm gonna be honest, it's a little explicit. So if you wanna listen, I'll say 18 and up. But it's a good podcast if you wanna listen to it. It's called The Social Club. You can find it on all platforms. Filming hobbies, yeah. Uh, I'm obviously you could tell I'm kind of like shy about it when it comes to that hobby, but yeah, I just remember growing up, I did not know other stuff besides football. And then in college, I would see YouTube videos and people, that's whenever YouTube was getting more and more like, you know, big on creators. And then people would show their creative work or their artistic, you know, videography skills. And I stumbled across that and I said, wow, like that's really cool. I want to learn how to do that. That's what I like to do on my spare time. I like getting clips of whatever we're doing, you know, just to you know, keep the memories from my life, you know, I guess uh, in stock.